The Southwest Wildlife Conservation Center is sounding the alarm because coyotes are getting sick from poison around homes. Fox 10's Lindsay Regas spoke with a doctor who is seeing these cases firsthand. This conservation center says numerous coyotes have been found near death or dead due to rodent poisoning. They're specifically seeing these cases in Sun City and Surprise. The Southwest Wildlife Conservation Center is a nonprofit that focuses on saving injured wildlife. In recent weeks, they've noticed an increase in calls about sick coyotes that may have been poisoned. A lot of different signs of um, pacing, uh, looking like they're lost or their gait is changed, they're walking funny, head pressing, things like that. Um, and those can be cases that can be quite fatal. Dr. Jacqueline Kubies says the problem starts with homeowners using rodenticides around their homes. Typically, the ingestion aspect is how our wildlife population is exposed. So either through eating a rodent who ate the rodenticide or eating the rodenticide themselves. One caller from Sun City told Southwest Wildlife they found a coyote laying lifelessly in a pile of its own vomit and feces. It was brought in for treatment but did not survive. But anytime we have any kind of rodenticide toxicities, uh, we definitely run the risk of losing a fair amount of our wildlife population. And it's not just coyotes that are affected. Two young mountain lions are living at the conservation center because their mom died of rodenticide poisoning when they were young. Typically with our newer types of rodenticides, the chemicals are made to be really strong. That one ingestion in a rat is lethal. And so because of that, it's now becoming more lethal when a predator species consumes that. Dr. Kubias says to avoid harming wildlife where you live, talk to your pest company for other less harmful methods of pest control. The Conservation Center says the quicker somebody calls in about a sick coyote, the better chance they have to save that coyote's life. They have a 24-hour hotline for situations like this. You can find that on our website, fox10phoenix.com. Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News.